Over the last few days, online media moguls Facebook, YouTube and Twitter have been stifling the content on their platforms. While Facebook is removing the ad campaigns of Donald Trump, YouTube has reportedly half the number of conspiracy theory videos, whereas Twitter is tightening the screws on hate speech or dehumanizing speech as they call it. But how do these social media firms do this? YouTube says it would limit the spread of videos that could misinform users in harmful ways. YouTube's recommendation algorithm follows a technique called multi-gate mixture of experts. This technique enables YouTube to improve the experience for billions of its users by recommending the most relevant video. Since the algorithm takes into account the type of content as an important factor, classification of a video based on its title and the context of the video for its conspiracy nature becomes easier. Ever since YouTube announced that it would recommend less conspiracy content, the numbers dropped by almost 70% at the lowest point in May 2019. Twitter, however, has been more eloquent about their initiatives in a blog post. Skimming over a million tweets in a second can be exhaustive, so Twitter uses the same algorithm that detects spam. With a focus on reviewing dehumanizing content, Twitter has expanded teams in key areas and geographies for staying ahead and working quickly to keep people safe. Facebook, on the other hand, uses an algorithm called Temporal Interaction Embeddings or TIEs. It's a supervised deep learning model that captures static features around each interaction sources and targets as well as temporal features of the interaction sequence. However, producing these features is labor-intensive, requires deep domain expertise, and may not capture all the important information about the entity being classified. Machine learning models are not perfect. The results are as good as the data, and the data can only be as true as the ones that generate it. Monitoring billions of messages in the span of a few seconds is a great test of social, ethical, and most importantly, computational abilities of the organization. There is no doubt that companies like Google, Facebook and Twitter have a responsibility that has never been bestowed upon any other company in the past.